Okay, suppose I'm trying to work out, say, 20 divided by 4. But I'm not really sure what the answer is. I just kind of make a guess. I'm going to guess the answer is 6. Is there any, any kind of check I could do to see if I'm correct or not? Well, the answer is that actually there is. There's a lovely check right in our list of fractional beliefs. In fact, consequence number 5 provides a lovely check. It says that if I took my fraction 20 over 4 and multiplied by the denominator 4 times that, I should get the numerator, which is 20. So this is saying 4 times my guess should give me 20. And I guessed 6. So here's my check. Here's my check. 4 times 6. 4 times 6. Does that give me 20, the numerator? Uh-uh, it doesn't. 4 times 6 is not 20. I failed my check. No way. Doesn't happen. All right, right. so let me try again. Let me try again. Um, let's try different guess of, say, 5 this time. Here's my check. Does uh, 4 times my guess, does 4 times 5 give the numerator a 20? In this case, yes it does. 4 times 5 is indeed 20. Beautiful, it passed my check. And in fact, that turns out to be correct. Uh, another way, for example, 100 divided by 2, I think is 50. I think that's going to pass my check. I think 2 times 50 is indeed 100. Is that right? Uh, yes, it is. 2 times, if I wrote 50, is indeed 100. Beautiful, there it is. Now let me do a sort of a more complicated one. How about 18 divided by 0 0.1? Ooh, I have a feeling it's probably going to be a big answer. I'm going to guess the answer is 180. Okay, let's see if it passes my little check. So according to constant number 5, 0 0.1 times 180 should be 18. I need 0 0.1 times 180 to equal 18. I'm crossing my fingers. Is it? Now I know I haven't done decimals formally, but this is 1 tenth times 180. So 1 tenth of 180 is indeed 18. It passes my check. Lovely. Okay, so let's now get wild. Let's now start dividing by zero and see what fun comes of that. Here goes. Let me try, say, uh, five divided by zero. Five divided by zero. I claim the answer is three. Let's check. What's my check going to say? If I follow consequence number five, it says that zero times three, zero times three should equal five. Does it? No, 0 times 3 is not 5. Ah, failed. Okay, wrong guess, wrong guess. I'm going to change it because I meant to actually write 7. That was going to be my guess. Does that pass my check? 0 times 7, does that equal 5? Eh, eh, failed, didn't pass my check. Okay, silly me. I really meant to write 46 and a half. Does that pass my check? 46 and a half. Eh, no, doesn't. But you can see right now, there's a serious problem right now. Whatever I write down, if I write down whatever number, I'll use W for whatever number, I know it's never going to pass my check because zero times whatever, I know from basic rules of arithmetic, is going to be zero. It's never going to be five. This will never pass the check. In fact, there's no answer I could possibly write down for the quantity five divided by zero. So therefore, I can't divide by zero. If people say, don't divide by zero, don't ever put a denominator on the bottom because you can't get an answer out of dividing by zero. Almost, almost. It seems that way. It looks like, but look, look at this. Here's a, here's a quirky example. What about zero divided by zero? Check this. This one's actually kind of curious. I claim the answer 7. And do you know what? It actually passes my check. Let's see. 0 times 7, 0 times 7, does it equal 0? Why, yes it does. 0 times 7 is 0. Bingo! 0 divided by 0 is 7. But now you're looking at me at scans, I'm sure, because actually there's nothing special about 7 there. What if I put 4.5 there? Does it pass my check? 0 times 4 and a half, 4 and a half. Yep, it's still 0. It passes the check. What if I put, say, I know, uh, 333 and a third there? Would it pass my check? Yes. Whatever I put there, whatever I put there, will pass my check. Beautiful. So this example, 5 does it divided by 0, suffered the problem that no answer could possibly work. There's nothing in arithmetic that works for that. This one, 0 divided by 0, has the kind of the reverse problem. Every possible thing actually works for that. It's just too open, too wide. Everything fits the check. Everything fits, fits the arithmetic there. It's too dangerous. People just say, look, look, even though that has no answer, the students have like all answers, just don't do this. We're in dangerous territory. Please don't divide by zero. Please don't put denominators of zeros in your fractions. Otherwise, arithmetic is in trouble. We'll just make the rule that every fraction we work with now has to have the property that its denominator is sure not to be zero. Let's keep away from the danger zones where there are no answers or if many answers, let's make sure to find our fractions never have denominators of zero. Please don't divide by zero is what they're saying. <laughs> kind of neat stuff.